Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the month of November. Now keep in mind this reading is for somebody, not everybody, so we'll see. Whoever needs it the most, that's what's going to come out. That is what it is. So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is this message that comes out is something that you need to hear. So whether it's a love reading or not, it's whatever Leo needs to hear. What does Leo need to hear for the month of November? What does Leo need to hear? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what does Leo need to hear? Mm. Mm. So somebody may need to take a mask off. Somebody is wearing a mask. And they have to make a decision. And it's a painful one, a stressful one. And you may not want to feel some sort of pain. It's like, I don't mind. I might not want to deal with any pain here. Upright, she's dealt with the pain. She's felt the pain. She's dealt with the pain. Here is like, eh, I might want to be pushing down this pain. I don't know. This is denial. Or you may not be seeing the truth of a situation. This is blinded. Keeping the blindfold on. What are you blinded by? You may try, may be trying to avoid something. Avoid. Avoiding. Pain? Or rebirth? Well, who know who wants to feel pain, right? Nobody. Anyway. Um, avoiding something, avoiding a renewal of some sort. There's no growth. I mean, the Empress reverses, there's no growth because you're blocking growth. Blocking growth. Uh-oh. Something is incomplete. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. You're stuck. Resisting a change. Okay, resisting a change, needing to, to struggle through something. That's what this is. It's like you need to see something from a new perspective and you're refusing to do so. Some, there's, you know, the world card upright is a lesson has been learned. Something hasn't been learned yet. You haven't reached the point of the end, right? Something isn't over yet because you're still hanging on. And you may be in denial over it right from the get-go. Say, no, 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 I have. Well, this says you haven't. Needing to find the strength. You need to find the strength. To let go of something. Courage, willpower, discipline. Uh-oh. So somebody here is, again, a mask. We have, we have a mask. Somebody is wearing a mask. Trying to keep their eyes closed to the truth of a situation. I don't want to hear the truth. I don't want to believe the truth. It's like you're choosing not to speak up you're choosing to stay where you're at because you her mouth isn't covered her eyes and her hands are tied she's bound right she's thinking she is but she's not because she can ask for help she can speak up she can take that mask off 
She can reach right up there with the hands and pull the mask off, but she's not. Somebody is choosing to not see the truth of a situation. I don't know what this is. Choosing to stay put. You're choosing to stay put. But this is a card of freedom and liberation. You can cut yourself free. You can. These are both, I mean, these are very similar in energy. You can cut yourself free from whatever this situation is. If maybe if you open your mouth and speak up, you need to find the strength to do so. This is lack of happiness, discontent. This is coming out of a period of darkness, the five of coins reversed. It's like coming out of... Insecurity, you have to deal with your insecurities. This right here is togetherness, appreciation, compromise, communication, working together. But there's no there's no commitment to work together with somebody. Somebody may be wanting you to compromise, they be may be wanting to work with you. And it's making you feel empty. This is emptiness. You may feel like you're being smothered by somebody. You may be wanting to break free from somebody that is smothering you. This right here is absolute denial, pretending. That things are balanced, but they're not. This is lack of balance, lack of harmony, lack of transition, lack of evolving, lack of healing, lack of... If you're not healing from a situation, I'm not sure what it is. There's lack of transition because you're, you're still blocking it. You're blocking your own transformation. You're blocking your own growth. Blocking growth. Blocking healing for some reason. You need to find strength to transition from one phase of your life. To step over a finish line of some sort so that you can have love. There's an opportunity for love here. But you're still stuck to something. You are. It's like you're, but you're allowing it. You are allowing it because you can break free. This is personal. This is freedom. You can break free. So this is a new opportunity for love. It is. But it's stalled. It's delayed. It's not happening because you haven't opened your mouth or you haven't done something. This wheel, the change of course can't happen. Until you complete a cycle. I mean, come on now. We have the world reversed and the real reversed. There's one cycle in your life that is not complete because you are still, you're allowing it to, you're still staying there. You're still stuck there. With these two cards, you are. But you have an opportunity to break free. You do. You do. But you're delaying it. Son of a bitch. Delayed, 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 delayed. Blockage, blockage. You are blocking love. Somebody's blocking love.
Could be somebody from your past that's blocking a new love. Or you could have a new love coming in from your past. Oh my God. Somebody is trying to control the situation. Somebody is clinging to control. Somebody may be keeping you stuck. Somebody may be keep trapped, keeping you trapped. It's like you have a new chapter, a new beginning that is waiting to start. Okay, you do. But there's one cycle in your life that just needs to be done. You need to, you need to stop hanging on to it. Now, this is the completion, the 10. It's the completion of a relationship. It is the 10, it's a completion. Oh, my goodness. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, or a Cancer from your past that is blocking you from evolving. They're blocking you from transi transitioning. They're blocking you from growth. They're blocking you from evolving. They're keeping you trapped. They're blocking you from happiness, but you're allowing it. This person... Whoever it is does not want you to have a new beginning in love. They may, somebody from your past, and I hate to say this, I know a lot of you don't want to hear this, but maybe coming with a new offer. Somebody wants you to accept their offer. They want happiness with you. Somebody wants happiness with you. But they have hidden agendas. They have secrets. And you don't have any faith in this. It looks like you are involved in a dead-end situation. Or this, this situation is causing you to feel exhausted. This, key, this person, whoever you're dealing with, is extremely temperamental. Up and down. And they're holding you back from finding true love. Because you need to complete this cycle so that you can find your happily ever after. My goodness. So there is an opportunity for love here. Oh my goodness. But somebody is still holding on for dear life. The death card reversed. This is the sign of Scorpio. That is refusing to let... Somebody is refusing to let go. And it's a causing you emotional turmoil. It's like you... you can't focus on the other cups while you are dealing with this exhausting situation. There's another opportunity for love for you. There is. But you can't see it or you can't have it while you are still holding on to the empty cup. And it's like you're not really taking the action that you need to take for some reason. This is lack of taking action. Mm. 
this person, whoever it is, expects you to accept their offer. They do. They expect that eventually you will come around. The Empress Reverse is a person that doesn't know her worth. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's a disaster waiting to happen. It feels as though you are probably stuck in an unhappy, negative situation in which somebody expects you to change your mind. They're holding on and not allowing you to be free. But you have an opportunity to break free. You do, you do, you do, you do. Ask for help. This is the Six of Pentacles. This is an, about giving and receiving. This is about getting what you deserve. After you truly walk away. Let go of the situation that is, was emotionally unfulfilling so that you will receive the balance, the harmony, and the gift that you deserve, you will get what you deserve when you truly walk away and don't look back. There's a situation that's incomplete here and it's bringing you bad luck. Free will plays a part with this Wheel of Fortune reversed. You have to take action because there's somebody in your dynamic that is holding on. And it's impacting your ability to find happiness. Hmm. Uh-oh. Somebody wants a reconciliation, but I don't see it happening. There's no chance. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, we have Scorpio here. We have Scorpio here. We have Scorpio here. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Somebody wants you to come back. They want to take. They want to get back together. It look, doesn't look like you do though. You're trying to get your, get your life back on track, right? You know you deserve more. And you've done your reevaluation. You've already re evaluated this situation. And it looks like you're going to keep going. You're going to keep moving on. Your advice is to move on. There's no chance. There's no faith in this situation. I think you already know that. And you may be tempted, though. You may be tempted. Because of codependent reasons. Codependency. I don't want to be alone. You may be tempted to go back to somebody that you're not in love with because you don't want to be alone. Don't let your pride or your ego or anything get in the way because there's an opportunity for love. 
if you don't look back. Now you look, notice he's got one cup in his hand. That's the that's the ace of cups. And then there's eight cups elsewhere. Eight of cups is walk away. There's an opportunity for love waiting for you to accept it. Waiting for you to see it. Waiting for you to completely walk away from or move on from whatever this is that is holding that you're that's blocking you from true love. You will get what you deserve. If you don't let codependency get in the way. Oh my God. There's definitely ego here. Ego, ego, ego. So I don't know who's the big ego here, but some this, these are all three cards of ego. So somebody has a really big ego. Their pride has been hurt. Could be the person you're dealing with. And they don't want the chain to be broke. They want to continue to keep you down. They don't want you to move on. And, you know, I have to tell you, with the Justice card, there could be something that... Somebody gets treated unfairly. This, this can also signify legal issues. You are probably dealing with an individual who lacks integrity. And maybe they're the one that has codependent issues. And they will do whatever it takes to get what they want. So be prepared. Perhaps maybe you need to even call the cops. I don't know. Yep, you're dealing with a sneaky, sneaky individual who is probably watching you behind the scenes. And they probably want you to come back or they want to go back. They want to get back. They want to go back. Be careful. Be really careful because it looks like there is a karmic situation here in which it's not over yet. It's not over yet. And it's not over. It's not over. They're coming back. Somebody is coming back. Because they don't want to be alone. They don't want you to move on. Their pride and their ego has been hurt. Because of the rejection. This is a card of rejection. The hermit reversed. And they don't want you to be happy with somebody else. So... It's time for you to master your emotions, find your strength, find your discipline and your willpower to keep going in the direction that you deserve to go in. There is an opportunity for victory and success if you remain strong and you be the boss, you take the lead. You may have a cancer that is coming in to your life that is going to offer you new love. But you're dealing with somebody that is jealous and vindictive and doesn't want you to move on. Does not. This, you have somebody that does not want you to move on. So it is going to be a struggle. It absolutely is. You're going to deal with a struggle this, more, this month of with somebody from your past that doesn't want you to move on. Because you have a new offer of love coming in and they know it. You may have to get the law involved. This is like a judge, police officer, somebody in authority. So.
So be prepared to deal with some conflict because somebody is jealous and unhappy that you have moved on. You also have a new opportunity for love that could lead to victory and success if you can complete this situation effectively. Let's get one of these for, for, oh no, I didn't even focus it in, did I? Oh well, it is what it is. Anyhow, um, Leo. What does Leo need to know? They're dealing with somebody who is unhappy that they have moved on and keeping them stuck because they're not happy. You know, the person that you're dealing with isn't happy and they're keeping you stuck. They won't let up. They won't let up. You may have to get the law involved. What do you desire? You, know, you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, They'll rush into your life as if by magic. They will. They will. But you have to speak up. You have to prove. What do you desire? Right now, there's a karmic lesson. Karma? Lesson. These are both reversed. The judgment is karma as well. This one's reversed as well. That hasn't been learned yet. And you know what it has to do with? Strength, willpower, discipline, self-worth. What do you desire? Do you want to stay stuck? Do you want to continue to block out what you deserve? You now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. But you have to take that blindfold off and remove all obstacles that are in the way. The Eight of Swords is about removing obstacles. Remove those obstacles. Eight, eight, right now. Because there's love here for you. You just have to want it. So be prepared to deal with some conflict from somebody with from your past. It doesn't want to let you go because they, they, they see that you're moving towards love. Good luck. 